was a good one. It's me and dad are gonna go find some stuff to blow up. It's Christmas Eve and this is what we do on the farm when it's Christmas and we wanna celebrate uh, this time of the season with, uh, with the bang. Well, our location for our stuff that we usually get to blow up is uh, closed. So we're gonna go find some other things. Oh, there's a, okay, so there's another stove sitting over there that we used to powder coat stuff. And yeah. we've never used that one. Could be our next victim. Whoa. Will that work? Uh, it won't slide in, but it's closer. We could blow up a header. <laughs> this doesn't really work. So this might get blown up in a future video. Who knows? And this is what we keep referring to as the extended inventory. I bet we could send one of these pretty sky high. Engine parts, engine block, a hole in it, snowmobile. Yeah, we could blow up a snowmobile. Oh, and here it is, another bathtub. Hey, do you think mom will get mad if we blow up another bathtub? We should just blow it up. These look like fun to blow up. A couple rusted out doors from, I call it old blue, my HX82 drag truck. Might snag these up and send them to heaven. I'll make dad do all the work around here. <laughs> what we're doing with this junky cabinet. This junky cabinet. It's got real light tops and bottoms. But we're and back. We're taking some junky wood and putting on there. So there's some substance. So that when it explodes, there's something to push. So it basically makes a cooler explosion. That's what we're True. going for. So when you contain an explosion, it can all the power can push on the sides or top or bottom. But if it's not contained, it, it'll just blow it. So, so it'll just blow this door off and blow the back out and just be kind of lame. So we've used other real cheap uh, kitchen cabinets that just have that uh, eighth inch uh, cardboard on the back and it just blows out the back and the cabinet is still there. So for okay. maximum smiles per explosion, <laughs> we just take some of this old, uh, these older cabinets that we've blown up before and we Frankenstein them onto the next cabinet that we're gonna blow up. Yeah, good word. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein. This is where we put the, put the exploding target be Shut. able to see the target. Boom. <laughs> fun, fun. We picked up the door. We've got a plastic barrel. We're going to try to send into orbit. As you can see, this door, not much life left in it, so we're going to blow it up. Okay, so we've got a pound and a half of tenrite under this barrel with one gallon of gas. We have an unknown amount of gas stacked on this door with one pound of Danarite. Let's see what the heck happens to this. 
And then for our finale, ooh, almost forgot the drill on top of the thing. We have a pound and a half of tannerite, a little bit of flour to see if that ignites, and five gallons of gasoline inside of this thing. I think it's empty. Reload time. No more this side. recoil for yeah. this gun. Okay, who wants to shoot? I'm hitting it, but it's not hitting it. You're flinching right before the trigger goes. I'm getting cold. <laughs> It's hitting close. A little low. You got the flowers. <laughs> Where's the actual tannerite? Is it inside? Yeah. yeah. It's, inside. it's at the very bottom. Oh, okay. In the middle. Woo! There we go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was a good one. Well, good job, job Joe. Like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty okay. good. I think some of the uh, technical flower. difficulties, we didn't get all of the footage of the exploding stuff. But we're all chilling here. Next to the fire, the two Arizonans got gloves on. Snow gloves. Like, do I live here or what? They're actually beach gloves, but that's all they had. <laughs> Hi. Is this thing on? <laughs> uh, Tap right on the lens, Dad. Just big grimy grease covered fingers. So there's... We had two and a half gallon jugs full of gas. There's one of them, a pile. This thing was pretty cool. They were locally sourced and organic, so. And the door, <laughs> door kind of turned into a uh, 
skinned something or other, but it actually is still standing up, surprisingly. So, not much damage here other than just ripping the skin off of the door. We're gonna leave it here and shoot it some more. Cause it looks like a pretty good target from far away. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us and blowing some stuff up. Catch you guys on the next video.